story, another view on this. Joining us now from New York, Fox News contributor Julie Roginski and former Democrat advisor to Senator Frank Lautenberg. And here in Washington, Simon Rosenberg, president of NDN, a center-left think tank and a former campaign advisor to President Clinton. All right, Simon, tell me, where did I go wrong there on judging Mrs. Clinton? Highly intelligent, global yeah. celebrity, yeah. Uh, incredible uh, run, I mean, from first lady to senator to secretary yeah. of state. But why is a great tenure as secretary of state? Well, first of all, I think I don't agree with the, the negative characterization. I think this is I think we are safer today uh, in the world than when uh, Barack Obama took office. I think there have been two central legacies uh, for her uh, from her tenure. One is that I think that she and President Obama have put the Democrats back on a course of a more muscular foreign policy. I think that you know, for 20 years, foreign policy wasn't a major issue in the Democratic Party, whether it was globalization or the opposition to the Iraq war. It, we didn't really have a forward-leaning foreign policy. I think we've reestablished our commitment to free trade, democracy promotion, uh, using well, diplomacy. Well, how is it forward-leaning? And given what's, what happened and what we didn't do uh, uh, in Iran, when we had looked like we had a real popular revolt going there, yeah. we really didn't do anything. Yeah. In Syria, I mean, there's debate on what we should do yeah. there. But nevertheless, clearly, well, our, our, clearly our policy but, but, there is a little bit confused. But clearly, we were place. very forward-leaning on the war on terror. Clearly, we were significantly involved in Libya and Egypt and trying to push things forward there. I, I think it's unfair. And, and, and There's a lot of liberals who are criticizing her, right? Or people I, who I really understand. like her. But I think, I think the second legacy for her is going to be uh, about the pivot to Asia. You've raised the issue about China. I think is America Obama, stronger or weaker than she was four years ago? I think ago? America's stronger today. And, and I think because On she's... On what measure? I think, well, First, More people are looking to our country for leadership America, than fewer, they, are, they were Fewer Americans are dying today than when they took office. That's a different the, measure. No, no, but you asked what's the measure, right? The second thing is I think we're much more respected in the world. And I think this argument that we're in decline is just false. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be a different country than we were in the 20th century. Our leadership is going to be different. We're going to have to rely more on our alliances, which is why a leader like Hillary Clinton, who can work with people around the world, is going to be a different model for a Secretary Julie, of State. Julie, let's get you in on this, because uh, yeah. when you look back at someone like a Kissinger or even a George Kennan, uh, George Shultz, uh, even under uh, uh, President Carter, you see uh, a, a real Secretary of State having a huge influence on the way foreign policy is out. And no one doubts that Mrs. Clinton worked really hard. But what did she really accomplish as Secretary of State beyond the humanitarian work and uh, well, helping advance girls and women's rights around the world? What else did she really accomplish? And, and you're right. I mean, good question. Look, I'm an admirer of Hillary Clinton for all the reasons you cited yourself. But at the end of the day, you know, George Kennan had his policy, which we all know about in the 50s, uh, 40s, 50s. We certainly know Henry Kissinger, who I don't necessarily agree with, but we know what the Kissinger doctrine was. It's still unclear to me what the Clinton doctrine is. And I, you know, I have to say at the end of the day, give me a break. You know, the thing with Hillary Clinton is people either lionize her or they despise her. And it's this constant, you know, bipolarity, this extremism on both sides, where as opposed to looking at her like a, like a person who's, who's very talented, but at the same time also flawed. And, uh, and that's how we have to look at it, very realistically. I think she's had some accomplishments. I think she's certainly had some setbacks. The reset with Russia, you mentioned, was one, didn't quite work. Um, Benghazi, obviously, is Benghazi. And uh, so, so again, I, I will say this as a Democrat, despite all that, we need to look at her realistically. Well, she's certainly not the saint that people think she is. She's certainly not the sinner that other people think she well, is. Well, I think one thing, when you think about the attempt to repair our global image, I think you're yeah. right. We put more countries probably say they like us more now, but maybe more countries like the fact that America is not leading, too. And I would say that with Russia, some, a place that I know a little bit about, I mean, this idea that we were going to give a reset button to Russia, which was poorly translated, and that that was going to mean that Russia was going to help us in places like Syria and other places around the world, turns out that, guess what, the Russians saw that as a sign of weakness. And on issue after issue, the Russians are blocking our way or actually acting in a way that really harkens back to the old Soviet Union, not, not the Russia that we might have thought with Glasnost and so forth. So on that one issue, Russia is a huge issue, doesn't get enough attention. It's been a disaster. Our relationship with them is worse than it was four years well, ago. I think there's also going to part of what we're learning is there are limits to our 
And what's funny is I feel like I'm quoting George Bush in the 2000 campaign where he said we have to be more humble in our foreign policy. I don't think America's in decline, but I think our leadership is going to be different. And I think that the Bush strategy of, of intervention in, around the world was an utter failure. But I mean, we actually have the worst foreign policy president in American history preceding Barack Obama. And I think that they, we've put our, I think Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama have put America on a much, have reclaimed the liberal internationalist tradition, the Democratic Al Party. Al-Qaeda just decimated. Well, they, they've been severely, they've been severely Africa. weakened. They've been severely weakened. Well, yeah. Come on. Well, it's uh, it's come great on. to see both of you, Simon and Julie. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you. And up next on the run.